PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that also, man. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's get right into this, man. Let's get right into this, man. I was on B Dot, not the battle rapper, B Dot from Rap Radar's podcast. I was on, on his Instagram live yesterday, right? And we were speaking about Nicki Minaj yesterday, right? Back and forth, me and B Dot have. And we were both, during the time, me and B Dot really agree on a lot of stuff, but we both agree that the Nicki Minaj diss track to um, Megan Thee Stallion was not good, right? I also said, I, Joe, I, I told B Dot, I'm glad you're keeping it real on the media aspect. If you, if you heard me yesterday, I said this. I'm glad you are keeping it real as a media personality because I know tomorrow when I listen to the Joe Budden podcast, oh, the capes are going to be out. The capes are going to be out. They're going to be out. And I understand people have relationships. But here's the thing about relationships. You don't have to say things in a mean way way or demeaning way especially if you're a rapper like joe budden especially if you, put, if you know how to put words together you can talk to people without saying something demeaning if you've been doing this for a long long time i'm listening to joe budden podcast i'm hearing them in the spaces a bunch of archie boca was across the board <laughs> For real. I'm sorry, Joe. This is nasty work. I understand you got a relationship with Nicki Minaj. But man, can you give a little pushback? You ain't got to throw off the roof. A, a bit of a pushback? And, and this is, listen. They love to say the New Yorkers are biased. They love running with that. A lot of times I be saying, yo, you know what? Y'all love throwing that just on New York when other regions a bias to people they like, but only New York gets the bias tag, but y'all other regions aren't biased. But I'm sorry, this here will make other people look at what damn Joe, man, we know Nikki Bill on your show before, we know you got a relationship relationship with her, we know you got the spaces jumping and she ran up in there, I believe, but fam, I leave it, I leave it, fam. A little pushback? And Joe, you can't tell me she don't give you Cassidy delusional vibes. And I'm talking about Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry, Barbs. She does. She sounds a bit off. She sounds a bit misinformed. She sounds like a woman that's scared to lose a spot. Let's call it what it is. Ludacris had a song called The Number One Spot. She's scared that she's losing that spot. Nicki, you got to understand... See, this is why Lil Wayne and Jay-Z, Lil Wayne knew that Drake was up next. Jay-Z knew Kanye had some talent, even though they knew that. Yeah, they knew that. Let me back out the way and let them boys shine. And I'm going to say this again, Nikki, when you, at the top of your game, you were really the only female that was popular before the Lottos and the Sexy Reds and the Gorillas and all these other females. Shout, shout, out, to, shout out to Shane Noah real quick. And Rhapsody and St. Rock and... Armani sees the seven next to Jean. All the other females. Let's, let's, let's shout out to the females right quick. Joe, majority of the time you critique people's music on your podcast, sir. And there was a lot of niggas walking on eggshells when they was talking up there. These are. Joe, real talk, I know you might get views when you and Nikki have a conversation, but I got to understand, I never leave our conversations like, oh my God, that was intriguing. That was a conference. A bunch of bitches that complaining. That's all she does is complain. And y'all sit there acting like everything, like everyone's after her. I don't give a damn about a rock, of, rock, rock, rock nation beef. And they don't care about that. Hey, Joe, we don't care about public ties and what this office company's doing. As the public consumer, we don't give a blood clad red gin. We don't care. We care about the music. Eric Sherman had a song called Music. I'm the, the music. The, the, the music. 
The Bomba Rasca music, the true them, is what we care about. We don't care about industry ties. If, 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 if Leo Cohen is the open, we don't care about Kevin Lyles and all that Kaiser and all. We don't care about them niggas. You usually critique people's music. You do it to drink all the time. And the infamous two pack of ass. I'm, I'll do it for you, Joseph. You don't want to say it. That's what Nikki did with a two pack of ass. You don't want to do it. I'll do it for you, brother. The two pack of ass. And and and, and choke. What I have, what I, I have issue with y'all in there with all of y'all talking about Nikki Nick. No one's addressing the dead mama part. Joe, you're from, we're all from the same era. Ice ish, um, Queens Flint. All, we all from Box. We all from the same era, and everything like that. We do know that. Hello, we the dead people thinks. And don't hit me with the yo. Well, you this one people making. I'm gonna go here with it. You. That joint wasn't good. It was not good. And I'm sorry, Nicki Minaj. I just believe you. I'm listening to you in the spaces, sister, respectfully. I don't, I, your voice is annoying. The, the, the freaking funny voice. I don't know what they're telling you, dog. That, that's just like annoying. Like, if, if I was around a female talk, I, there's no way a female could be talking like that around me. I'm gonna get jiggy with that and try to get try to get my groove on with you and you talking like that, man. Talk normal, my girl. Blood cut. You can't talk normal. Well, they mess with me, and I know that they what, what fam. That funny voice and shit that we we we, we, we got with Eminem for doing that on Relapse album with Miss Crow. I dog. I never liked that funny voice ish from Nicki Minaj. I just never thought, I never got jiggy with it. Just rap. Changing up your personalities. I don't like that weird person. I never, oh, I, got, I never found that fly. My joint, and it was, my, 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 my man downstairs didn't tingle off that. Tingle ling a ling, school bell ring. No, he didn't shot my ring. Nothing like, no. You could have asked him about the dead mama line, like Joe. You had it in the spaces. Well, Nikki, do you think that's kind of far? Why go to her mom? Like, have those kind of conversations, bro. She's in you. I mean, why not have her? You, you, have, you have her right there. I damn sure that have her. Call her cool, whatever. I'm going to ask the question because I'm fan. These are questions you want to know. I don't get everything right, but if someone come my show that I know a big topic is going around, I have to jot that down. Ask that question. Y'all be surprised how many battle rappers I've had on my show that hit me up after my show. Like, yo, fam, what's up with that question you asked me? A lot. In a lot. Could have asked also, you ignored Remy. What do you, I, you don't got to say this to me. Hey, Nick, let me ask you a question. The infliction your waist. Hey, Nick, let me ask you a question. What do you say to the people that say that, you know, you know, you, you, you Remy had some words for you on on the Sheeta thing, but you didn't respond to her. But you responded to Megan. You're going kind of hard at Megan and not really too much at Cardi and and um Remy. What do you say to that? Damn. What Nikki would have curse you out? Come on, man. She would she would look foolish doing that. She would look foolish doing that. I'm sorry, that funny voice shit is annoying, son. Like somebody scratching a blackboard. Don't worry. Ha, ha, ha. Laughing. Ha, ha. Come on, somebody. Like. And I, and I, and I, it, I know, Joe. Y'all dread doing shows like I do this morning because you know the people want to hear the real. And when y'all get caping and, and y'all saying from the beginning of the show, y'all be thinking it's cute, funny when y'all be like, well, are we going to cape? Are we going to like, like, that's the thing. Y'all laughing because. The culture knows that. No, that's not funny, though, respectfully. I don't want to hear that. Once again, no, you don't have to bash anyone. We have, let me make sure I highlight this. You can ask a person a question without being malicious, 
nasty, um, coming at them sideways. You have this way you ask questions. Respect to ice, Joe. When you don't, you can do ice the ball and let him go ISO. Oh, I agree with everything you said. I said, very well. Spent. Come on, fam. Joe, you the rapper. We went in from you, rapper or former rapper. Or your Joe Budden pot. Joe Budden. Ain't your name on the marquee? That joint is just okay. It ain't crazy. I know I said he didn't like the joint and everything like that. And, you know, y'all keep running with this. Well, she got songs in the stash. Don't go this off. Let's say, let's say right here, the song is not that, cr that, 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 that crazy. What is it? Dinko D, I think, from Leaders of the New School or Scenario? Oh, that's our oh, doodle. Doodle. Yeah, doodle. That don't mean doodle brown. It, the song ain't all that. It ain't, it ain't that great. The, the Megan joint ain't that great either. The only person I hear that got a diss track and shit that's worth even, worth even listening to so far as Benzino. If we keep it in a stack, and like some of y'all think somebody's playing his joint, whatever. I respect Nicki Minaj as an artist. I respect what she done for the game. I respect what she done for female hip hop. I would, I would, I don't, I don't hate on that sister. There's no reason to hate on her. I'm not gonna hate on no black woman anyway. I love female hip hop. Period. Has she been a female that I rock with heavy like that? No. I've always said I don't have her over Foxy Kim, Rod Digger. I don't have over them. Light, Roman Hill. I don't. I'm, I, I, I don't. I'm not saying she's not on the list, but I don't got her over them. I damn sure got over Foxy. No way. Uh-uh. Sorry. I don't think Pink Friday is better than Broken Silence. I don't even think Pink Friday is better than um Little Kim's hardcore album. I don't think it's better than Salt Pepper's first album. That's just me, though. Or MC Light. Light is a rock album. That's just me, though. I don't think she got classics like Latifah, like that. Like, to me, I'm just being, for me, I'm just keeping it real. What I like. And I ain't no front on Nicki. She can rap. I ain't front on the sister, but. I don't y'all gonna say she sold records. I don't, I don't care about selling records. I'm not saying that's something you sweep under the rug, but some of the records, I, there's, there's been albums from the 80s to the 90s to now that I like that, that never sold records, and I deem that as a classic. Illmatic didn't sell no records. Don't ever forget that. Illmatic sold no records. Reasonable Doubt from Jay-Z went triple wood. Reasonable Doubt didn't sell records when it first came out. Let's be clear on that. But y'all keep running when she got songs in the stash and all this other stuff. Fam, we, we don't care about the songs in the stash. Cause they, what, what are they, where are they in the stash? We talk about right now. I wish y'all stick on what she's talking about right now. Oh, you know she got songs in the stash. You know, and then what Joe said. Um, oh, oh, oh this, this was a little jab. You know what I mean? It's a lot of lead up. A lot of people feel, feel like this is beneath her. Beneath her what? This is what she want to do. Which beneath her what? Nikki ain't that. He ain't better than anybody else. Y'all be acting like she's some. Come on, fam, stop that. Stop that. It's hip hop. Forget all that status bull ish because she beneath. You, if she if she's so beneath, leave that leave bed, um, baby mom, dead moms out of conversation then. That's what she should be beneath. It's is it going in that bag. But doing it with shock value. And Joe, you up there shucking the jive and talking about some, oh, this the hook, this the hook. Nah, man, that hook ain't fire. That hook ain't it, Joe. No. No, it's not, bro. It's not. No. No hook. Then Shaq have a song called No Hook or some shit like No Hook. Nah, No Hook. This ain't the hook, bro. We don't like the hook. Bars and hooks from Queens. We I know bars and hooks. Who down with Project Forty First Side? Shout out Forty First Forty First Side um project. All right, whatever. Craig G had it doing. Stay focused. Me. And then Joe, you talking about um, you you love that she did a cappella version and. Oh, you know, oh, you want to you, you want to break down the beat? What beat she picked the rap off? Fam, you acting like she rapped up shook ones? Like you acting like it's one of them joints, protect your neck beat or some ish like that? This ain't Tupac a, a, a bitchin' of a rider beat? Thing, this ain't laid low. I got like this old fire beat she rapping on, but then again, Joe, as much as I love you as an MC, you ain't never rapped with ill beats in either. So 
Consider the sauce, brother. Respectfully, King. Respectfully. Love you, my dude, but man. I don't rock with the JBP heavy. I rock with those brothers. Interviewed Mo when he was on there. Interviewed Ice on there. Me and Joe early last year. That's my guy. Fuck with the niggas heavy. Shout out Ish. I'm not gonna know. I don't like what y'all thought that I was nasty. Word today. I'm sorry. And once again, I'm not saying you have to bash someone. I'm not saying y'all gotta be nasty with it. I'm not saying you gotta say this caca do. This, this, you don't gotta do that. But Joe, especially when you're in the spaces where, man, you, you have the power to ask a couple questions right then and there, bro. You want to break down the beat and everything like that, man. And no, Parks, this is it's not hard, Parks. You know you're my guy over there, Parks. But no, this is not hard. And the alcohol bomb. Y'all think that alcohol bomb? Barbs, I need to find something with rhymes with this. Like, no, that don't even, like. And then, Joe, you like, oh, the hook is hilarious. No, the hook is not hilarious, bro. It's not. No, it's not. At all. Not at all, B. And then y'all going into Ice, man. All due respect, brother. You know, I rock Ice Heavy, man. But all that, you know, she, and Megan, this ain't even about you. This is about Rock Nation. I think she got beat for Jay-Z. We don't give a rat's ass. And y'all going to speculation. Y'all don't even know if that's... If that word is born, is that true? Because she got beef she got beef with, with Rock Nation. She's taking that on Megan. Is, that's the coalition. That's what we that's what we drumming up. Come on, y'all. Get out of here with that, man. Get the bumber ass clock out of here with that, yo. We the people do not care about Atlantic Records. We don't give a rat's ass. It's your boy three, man. One.